Ah, hey everybody, this is Larry. I figured what I might try to start doing every once in a while is periodically uh, doing some of my daily life stuff and how to's and so forth. Uh, what I thought would be a good example would be uh, kind of groceries and such. So the idea, if you haven't already, the, what you want to do is, um, oh sorry, by the way, I have my uh, son recording the camera. So uh, thank you, buddy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, um, one thing to realize is that in order to do your everyday tasks, there is a little bit of ad adaptation and you have to have a little bit of resilience and uh, a little creativity. Um, generally speaking, when you go to a grocery store, it is going to be picking up individuals from the shelf to your grocery cart, from the grocery cart to the uh, conveyor belt, from bagging to your cart again, cart to car, and then you drive home and then it's car to house or in my case, platform. Yeah, okay. So yes, um, as of right now, it's putting everything on the platform, going around and unloading. Um, one thing that is a huge time saver are these different styles of bags that you can get. I have some of these and some plastic ones that I got like at Aldi and stuff like that. But if you want a good quality solid bag that holds a bunch of stuff, the Food Lion. It's great because they have this little fold out bottom here. And then you have basically a solid box in which to put a bunch of stuff, which is a time saver. I forgot to bring mine to the store so yeah i had to load individually in and out but either way you take it you can unload it from the car put them in your bags and plop them around so there you go so i'm gonna come over here uh, this is my car i'll also do a video at some point of uh, how i transfer my chair in and out and how i get in and and so forth uh, and i could do each of my vehicles i have this small ones my everyday and I have a minivan, which is great. And I can show you a couple of ways that um, friends have uh, adjusted and put their chairs in. And then we have the big guy, which personally, I'm not a big fan of trying to get in and out of on my own. But anyway, this time will be groceries. So let's do it. All right. So the main idea is you want to get an idea of what you have and, and kind of be strategic in how you load and unload. Um, Here's one of those other bags I was talking about. They're great because they hold a lot, but they're not as sturdy as the Food Lion ones. Um, obviously, get your boxes out first. And uh, what's great about boxes is they sit on your lap pretty easy, so there's not a whole lot to it. Ugh. All right, and again, for those who may not have watched the previous episode, I am an incomplete paraplegic, uh, which means I do have some core, and I am able to stand a little bit and use a little bit of strength in my legs there. So, um, but again, you take what you have and you alter it to the best of your ability. You use what you're given and work with what you don't. You control the things you can control and try not to harp on the things that you can't because that's just part of adaption. So, like other things anyway, I like to post my hand on the armrest here. Can you get that, Nico, buddy? My arm here? No, the camera. There you go. See, I post on here for balance purposes, so that way the gap between here, I don't have to worry about flopping and falling over. I can post and balance a little bit and have my elbow over here if I need to. Then I lean as such as I need to. Uh, went and got some meats because, uh, well, we eat a lot of meat. Um, so, I mean, that right there is, <laughs> I mean, every bit of meat that I bought. Then from here, you kind of just flip and you can post your elbows on your knees if you can. Back up a little, buddy. All right. There you go. That's good. And so you can kind of, if you, uh, you get a little creative on how you can do things. Um, and do what you're able to do within reason and safely, please. Um, either way, the idea uh, is to be able to uh, recognize and realize that yes, everyday task to tasks are gonna take 
more time, more steps. Um, so you have to get creative in how you can alleviate time and stress and usage for yourself. Mine happens to be bags, but also too, they sell online little shopping carts, uh, collapsible that you can keep up in the trunk. You get these bags, you load those up, throw them in your cart, bam. I mean, you're good to go. It makes this, the process is easier. So that's, that's the whole purpose and point of this. All right, and then we just get to the other side and do the same thing. Now, uh, these groceries obviously are more along the lines of uh, your typical grocery stores. Uh, not so much the huge bags that you'll get at some places. Uh, but also too, when you're, <laughs> you're a pair, utilize your legs, lean on them, take your balance, use that. Reach, balance, however you need to do it. And you kind of go from there. By the way, nobody ever said that we have to make things look pretty or proper or anything like that. I am far, because um, obviously like right now, I can't reach the back ones. One thing you want to be able to allow yourself to do, okay, is to transfer, use what you have. Um, don't let pride get in the way of process. I can't reach it comfortably from my chair then get on the ground. Take your time. Nobody says you have to rush. Nobody says you have to do any of that. All right. You take this stuff out. Boom. Boom. And just for display purposes, here's how to make life a little easier. If you can't pick up this box from your chair, A-OK. -okay. All you need to do, find something to lean on. Lean back to where you're controlled, comfortable. Pull this up however you need to. All right, manage it into your seat. Okay, then transfer. And now, now your box is at a level at which you can lift comfortably. Does it take, uh, here, back up. Does it take a little more time? Does it take a little more uh, thought? Sure. But that's kind of the fun in it. Think of it as a game. How can I do my day-to-days a little different to make it easier long-term? You know, and that's kind of how I do it, guys. I appreciate you checking in. Um, again, let me know what you think about this um, because I'd love to mix this with some of the vlog, uh, have some um, chair chat, but then also some adaptive uh, instructionals or just how I do things. You know, it might make help you think out of the box. That's what it's all about, guys. Community. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.